Getting ready to apply for jobs or internships? In this video, we will cover the essential elements of a strong resume. Yale's Office of Career Strategy has worked with thousands of students, including undergrads, graduate students, postdocs, and alums, to ensure their application materials are in tip-top shape before submitting them for jobs and internships. Before we launch into the details of the content and format of strong and effective resumes, let's think like an employer. As an employer, you have a problem. You need employees who can carry out job functions that are critical to your organization's goals. An open positions means money or services lost. You have to sift through hundreds of resumes and have very little time to dedicate to this process. Knowing this, it's important that you, as an applicant, create a document that highlights essential qualifications that align with the industry and tells a story that shows how you're prepared for this role. On average, resumes are reviewed in about 45 seconds. Therefore, the most impressive and necessary elements need to stand out. Too much information means drowning out the important aspects of your skills and experience. Too little information doesn't give the reviewer enough to believe you have the skills and experiences they need. First, let's cover the format. Be consistent with your format. This will help guide your reviewer's eyes to the parts of your resume that they need to see. Feel free to look at templates, but don't get too attached to any one particular look as your content may dictate what makes the most sense for your document. Names of organizations, your role, date ranges, these should all look the same. Your font size should be between 10 to 12 points, and your margins should be no less than half an inch around. Your resume can have delineated sections that highlight the key pieces of your experiences and skills, such as education, experience, leadership and activities, or skills. For those of you with publications or extensive programming or software skills, you may want to include additional sections. Use bold, italics, and bullets to accentuate certain content, but don't overdo it. Finally, leave out any first-person point of view. Next, let's talk about content. This is where you'll spend the most time deciding on how you'll detail your experiences. Use the STAR method to craft your accomplishment statements and identify instances where you implemented skills relevant to the job you're applying for. You will also use the STAR method when you prepare for interviews. Beneath each experience entry, include your accomplishment statements. Each statement starts with an action verb and highlights the most salient points of your past positions. We know there's a lot to learn and consider for content, and we have you covered. We'll direct you to the right place at the end of this video. Watch how we can transform a position description into an effective accomplishment statement. The initial entry simply identifies the role and does not offer anything regarding achievements or accomplishments. The reader is left to make assumptions regarding the person's effectiveness in that role. Most employers would not take such a risk in fear that the person was ineffective. Through this revision, we are able to descriptively break down the role and most importantly, our unique contributions via that role. Through this, our impact is clear, descriptive, and verifiable. Via this writing process, remember to be consistent and accurate, avoid abbreviations and slang, and check for spelling and grammatical errors. For an extensive collection of sample resumes and more guidance, visit the Office of Career Strategies website.